Hi, welcome to Beach Bubbling. If it's your first time here, thanks for popping by. Today we're going to the market in Keokoko. We took a $5 hop on, hop off bus to get there. If you want to see what they sell here, then check this video out and see if you want to go here. We'll pick it up just as we get to the market. Let's go. All right, we're at the market, Keokoko. This market's kind of a combination of a mall, for lack of better words, and then some of these huts that line the laneway. What we noticed was everybody got off the bus and either went right or left to the very first stand, so if you don't want to be bombarded with people right off the bat, maybe just walk to one of the ends and work your way backwards. Or two. There's so many people here. Yeah, there's this stuff. There's a nice one. That's a nice car. Which way does it go? Other goods here. I like wind chimes as much as the next person, but this is a bit out of control when the wind picks up. I don't know how anybody can stand next to that all day. Here's lunch. A little maraca. It's the upside down though, once you hang it on the tree. I'm not sure what to get. Yeah, he did. Got a lot of things closed. Yeah. Well, it's Oh, yeah. Just a note, we're here on Easter, so I don't think a lot of these are open because of that. So maybe come back to this one? What? Maybe come back later? Yeah. yeah. Ask him how much a taxi is back to our place. Ooh, I like that Cuba one with the... Like the second one. <laughs> Thank you. 
I got a buddy Mikey Mort here that would just love that little John Deere tractor. Canadian or US? He didn't say. That'll be it for the wind chimes, thank God. This was the first stand we came to when we got off the bus. Like I said, if you walk to one of the far ends and work your way back, there'll be a low one here, and now this is cleared out finally. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, This is really just a tourist market. You're going to see a lot of duplications on what's sold in each hut. They're not very aggressive or pushy here at all. Yeah, you can bargain a little bit. We did find different prices for the same item at different huts. You can spend American dollars, Canadian dollars, or Cuban pesos. Although the exchange rate for Canadian in some cases was pretty bad. In some places it wasn't, so it really just depends who you're talking to at the time. That's a cool holder, eh, for bottles? Yeah. In this market, you're going to come across a lot of keychains, a lot of carvings like this. You see a lot of wind chimes, as you've heard in the first part of this video. You can find some pretty cool things, though, if you look. What do you think of these? Yeah, she's musical. That would work. How much? Two or three for five. Canadian or more? Whoa, that's quite the exchange host. As you can hear from the background, there's a lot of little construction projects going on at this market when we were there. Oh, let's okay, go on. That was nice. Oh, it's 
still looking, I'm not giving up on my Havana Club bulk house. Like they're just painting this. This building's laid out kind of weird because you have a lot of half floors, I would call them. But if you want to find something to eat right off this patio, go up these stairs and there'll be a restaurant right up here on the right. And they call it the cafeteria. You can get drinks and uh, we'll revisit that in a little bit. But there's a bunch of stores in here. They don't sell as many trinkets as they did in the market part. Here's a quick peek inside that restaurant. And we'll take a look inside of some of the stores. Sunglasses, I really don't need sunglasses. There we go. Hola. I'm starting to think that they've never made a uh, Havana Club bowl cop. What's this? Oh, a laundry detergent. Some ice creams over there? No, no ice cream. No? <laughs> no. <laughs> Okay, oh, check out the ceiling. There's a pharmacy up there. It's closed, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Those are cute. Check this. Oh. Tense and mellow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all the kind of beer that I didn't like. Where's that one from? I don't know, from Shitstown. I don't really like it. <laughs> That's a big beer. Yeah, it's kind of they had resort the big ones, right? What 
Kopi. Oh, maybe. Yes, they are. For a crystal, you gotta drink the vodka. I'm just gonna bring one home, right? I think, well, that or we start drinking vodka like every other second at a resort. Yeah, we gotta get rid of it, you're right. Well, then you can't bring back a bottle out of it either. Oh, here's more gin. Hmm? More gin here. It's all gin in here. I bet. Must be hard to get. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uno? Maybe we can get a crystal at the, uh, or oh, crystal, whatever, at the top two. La Moda. Well, I guess this is closed. Mm -hmm. Or it's a rubbing tub. <laughs> Mostly. You okay? Yeah, I was looking for a ball cap actually. Uh, baseball cap. I don't Yeah, I, Sorry. that's okay. Have a good day. You too. Thank you.
No, so I saw a couple trying to do it. Oh, I said they're not going to walk in anywhere. Yeah. Go back up. Oh, you gotta go up to go down. It's awesome. I'm mean, there just one day. Uh, five. five. Did you get the same drink I got before? No. Yeah. I was five. Canadian? Canadian? Oh, okay. I don't have to I Very nice. Thank you. Very good. Playground, kind of. Where? Oh. They've got some swings. And a slide, I think, over there. You have kids, but not a whole lot going on here for kids. Alright, just in case you wondered, yes, they have washrooms here. Walk to the right of the big building, you'll find them. We weren't really looking for anything but a hat that I've never found in Cuba. I don't even think they make Havana Club hats, but um, pretty much a lot of the same stuff in each store. Same as pretty much anywhere else we've ever been. But uh, the prices weren't horrible, they weren't great, but they weren't horrible. And everybody seemed pretty nice. So it's Easter, so some things weren't open. BYOK, bring your own Kleenex. And another thing, they have a little pail in there to fill with water to flush. Like just dump it in the bowl like you do in Mexico. Mm -hmm. If you're not rude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm taking it. Somebody left you a present? Yeah. yeah. For any of our viewers that have been here, can you let me know if these are normally full of stuff? Yeah. It's Easter. On like a weekday? On a weekday or, or something? Saturday or Saturday maybe? Not a holiday? Yeah. Um, that's a lot of places to put stuff, so. So that's what the market looks like in Keo Coco in Cuba. We spent about an hour here, I would say, maybe a bit longer than that. We just missed the bus that was going back in our direction. So uh, we had asked about a cab. We're going to take a cab back to the resort. Karen's squaring up the vendor in there for the things we got from my sister, and we'll be heading on our way. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, throw it a like below. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment. Ring the bell if you want to be notified when we make another video. Until next time, cheers. I know what you're thinking. Five bucks is pretty pricey for a beer in Cuba, but the beer in a resort was shit, so this one hit the spot. <laughs>